Hello, my name is Alan and I am from GoThru. In this tutorial, we're going to explore how we can create a uh, video which is generated from your 360 images that you are creating for a space where the video is a normal video and basically it's a walkthrough uh, experience through, through that space that you can use on YouTube or social media platforms. So let's go ahead and we're going to create a video for the Lux Appliance Studio. Click on Tools. In the Tools section, we're going to click on Walkthrough Video. And in here, we have two type of videos. One is the walkthrough and one is the slideshow. Um, now, we're going to talk about uh, the walkthrough video uh, right now. <clears throat> and this one is where we go through one panel to another. The slideshow is where we spin 360 degree on each panorama. So let's go ahead. And we're going to start with panel number two. When we're going to add, we're going to see the panel uh, in here. And um, on the map, we're going to see in green dots what panel I can add next. Now, I cannot jump all over the places because it needs to have a fluidity between images when we create this video. That's why it's a walkthrough video. So <clears throat> we're going to click on panel number 17 and immediately we notice a few things in here. Now, one is the de delete trash can is only on the last panel. So you cannot delete what you already selected. You can delete the last one. So if I'm deleting in here this one, I have this one here. So I can delete that one and I'm going back. But let's go ahead and add 17 back. So that's one thing. Second, this is the sequence number in from your uh, panorama list. So this is 12, then it's at 17. Then we notice that there is a number here and two arrows on the side. So basically that tells you in what direction go through will move and how many degrees it will move. Now, in this particular case, I don't want to move 360, 50 de in degree. So, there is no, no nothing to see in the back. So I'm just going to choose to move left. And that's basically, it's going to start looking in that direction. It's going to move 14, uh, 5 degree in here. Then let's, and you can only choose these angles after you choose the next one. So you cannot choose the angles on the last panel that you have. So let's go ahead and choose our, our panoramas, so 14. And you see now this is it's a almost a straight line so the angle that go through choose to it's just four degree i can choose to have a 360 fifth uh, 360 degree almost but I, I don't see the point for that panel and let's click on the next one and again this angle is too big to 28 so we're just going to change to 132, this 41, this 95. We're just going to click and select all the panels that we want to have in this video. And then we can just go ahead and make sure that the angles are, um, are correct. Uh, so this one is 281 and I don't want 281 on this one. But this one, like 12, it's 319. And this, um, I think it's a good 319 because uh, it, it's all, it, it's gonna, I'm, I'm basically here, this is 12. So I'm in the middle of the whole uh, space. So I would like to have a full degree on that particular panel and then 134 that's good two and the last panel is a zero now that's how you select the panoramas 
So again, you the, the red one will give you the, a hint or where you wanna, you can click. And you can actually go back. So you can see, let's say you are in a, a home for, you're creating a video for the real estate and you want to go back, you go in a room and then you go back from the room. So that's, that's why it's good to go back. Um, and then we can select the um, music and the background, go through comes with the library. Uh, and keep it up and we can preview the uh, music. And then um, if you don't like our library, we can upload your own music and then we're going to use your music. Then what an, uh, one of the important steps is um, how many seconds you want to go through to rotate on a panorama. Now, it's, this is a bit tricky because each panel, depending on the number of degrees that we move, it can be shorter or longer. So the way we choose to pick the time is how much time it takes us to to do a 90 degree angle so what I like it's about eight seconds so in eight seconds we will uh, do a 80 um, 90 degree so for a full 360 360 is gonna take you know, uh, eight by by four now another thing is you can choose the video size and right now we support 1080p and uh, 720p. Um, my plan is for the future is to have uh, videos for Instagram or from TikTok, like which has different formats. Like this particular video I'm gonna create now is mostly for um, for YouTube, yeah, where you have a uh, three by two. Um, uh, no, uh, 16 by 9 uh, image so that's and um, another feature is you can add a front and the back uh, slide um, in this particular case uh, I haven't added one but you can preview uh, one in here and if I'm starting the video you see this per uh, I have uploaded on uh, on image and in this particular case this is a house it's for real estate so um no it's uh you can use it for real estate also just put a pause and let's go ahead and create the video now the video is going to be created pretty quickly um it takes us about between three and five minutes to create it um, but we're not gonna wait um, because I already showed you uh, the video that uh, that we have in here. Uh, it's just a, like one uh, point is that uh, the video that we are creating is an MKV video, so your uh, operating system might not support the MKV, um, but in that case. Um, you can go ahead uh, to VLC um, it's a free video player and install it and it will support uh, MKV, MKV format um, now all the videos that are created to go through um, the format is already uh, accessed uh, like it's known by Facebook and uh, YouTube Vimeo so if you uh, you don't have to be scared like why the video is not playing on my computer if you upload it to, to the um, uh, social media platform it will work now I'm looking forward to see what uh, videos uh, you are creating uh, using the walkthrough uh, tool that uh, that we've, we have. Thank you.